Good morning. Please rise and join us in praying the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who roam through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We welcome you as we celebrate the Eucharist today, Friday of the second week of Easter. Our presider is Father Amado Barankel, OFM. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We thank the Lord for bringing us together today to worship Him as one community of faith. And so with all humility, let's continue to seek the Lord's blessing and especially for His mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Gathering all your other unspoken mass intentions. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, the Judas appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed. And all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men, and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. 
you may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ, Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. That I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate His temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. To honor the gospel, please rise. Together, please. One, One does, does not live on bread alone, alone but, on, but on every word that, that comes, comes forth from the mouth, from the mouth of God. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you o, o Lord. Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up the, on the mountain and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish peace to pass over was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments 
left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled 12 wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, this is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he would rule again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, what is it that will really satisfy our longing, our deep longing for God. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. In the gospel, we see so many people follow Jesus because of the signs that they saw. He was healing the sick like that. They wanted something from Jesus. When Jesus saw them, he was moved and said to his disciple, Philip, where can we buy food to feed them? And of course, the response of Philip, there's so many of them, even 200 days worth of wages will not be enough to satisfy them. And then comes Andrew telling, here's a boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. That is where when Jesus said, let them sit down. And he blessed that loaf of bread and the fish. And they all ate There were even leftovers. My dear brothers and sisters, truly, the people were satisfied. But that was all. As we will know, if you read further, they will want, they still want to follow Jesus because of that sign. It is, of course, a basic need to long for food, to search for food. But Jesus is also teaching them, look beyond. Also, there are other things that can really satisfy your hunger for meaning in your lives. In the first reading, it tells of the bravery the courageous apostles who have turned from being timid to bold. This time they were not afraid even if they were arrested by the leaders who wrongly judged Jesus. Those people that were so blind from the truth that they want to silence the apostles. They wanted them to surrender to fear, but the apostles know we would rather follow God than you, knowing how unjust they were in judging Jesus. And now witnessing the truth of resurrection, they cannot just accept that unjust ways of this People were supposed to be learned, wise, and so on and so forth. So they stood their ground. Something that speaks of the truth of the resurrection. They have witnessed the resurrection, life. What more? They can ask for. And so they were even happy when they were flogged 
because they said it's, it's like it's nothing compared to what we have witnessed, to what awaits us. My dear brothers and sisters, as I was saying at the beginning, what is it that truly satisfies us? What can give meaning to our lives? My dear brothers and sisters, just as Jesus cared for all these people, this is also the challenge for the society, society today, for our leaders, for us. To love, to feed, to care. These are signs of resurrection. And this is where we are called to give witness today. Jesus multiplied loaves and fish on the mountain to feed the hungry multitude. Let us pray for the needs of the hungry and the poor and for the strength to come to their assistance. And so we pray, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the ministers of the church may feed without fail the people of God in the table of the word and in the table of the Lord's body. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That government and civil agencies may attend to the people's need for food, shelter, and security. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Like the boy who offers five barley loaves and two fish, may we be generous with our little resources, which the Lord will multiply to answer the needs of many. Lord, graciously hear us. As we pray for those who are hungry, may the Lord <clears throat> touch our hearts and open our hands to feed them. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. May we thank the Lord for the gift of food that restores our strength for those who work to produce what we eat and for those who prepare it at table. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. And in the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our own personal intentions. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving Father, bless the supplications. Bless the unspoken intentions of these your sons and daughters gathered here. I lift them all to you. Open our eyes so that we may see the deepest needs of men and women and children. This is the generosity that welcomes the hungry, the thirsty, the strangers, and those who suffer in any way. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless them, Lord. 
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy every land, Every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are, are full, full of, of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy their for this gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, and unto willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially all the souls we command this Mass, including the lost and forgotten souls. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
united with the whole church the world over. We now pray to the Father, to the words, our Lord Jesus has taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. Lead us not into not temptation, temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. This offers other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be, be with you. you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who believe and are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Jesus, heart of Jesus, heart of Jesus, 
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of God be upon you, the blessing of the Father and the Son, and may the spirit of love the spirit of peace be with you all your days. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Please join us in our prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Please kneel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. Behold me, kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where must I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, sacred heart of Jesus, in you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it shall require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. O oh, sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire, may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you. Through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother, you have entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Oh, house of Sweet delights, what way? 